Good afternoon, my name is Tracy Harper and I'm the Information Management Supervisor here at Township High School District 214. Today's video is in reference to our new Summer School Registration Portal. We wanted to give you an overview of what you'll see in the new portal. So we'll begin here by going to the Summer School Registration Portal. This is the parent portal. You'll be entering your student's ID number their homeschool, their date of birth, and new this year is the removal of a household phone because we have several now. We have household phones, we have landlines, we have cell phones. It got to be a bit difficult to remember which phone number we used to register with. So now we're using a simple tool of the household zip code. And that household zip code for this, uh, this student is zero, uh, 60056. So we're going to log into the system and you will see some basic information under forms and agreements. You'll begin with the student number, the last name, the grade level, and the student's first name. If you proceed down the page, you'll see internet safety policy. We do require that all students and uh, parents understand that internet safety is something we take very seriously here at Township High School District 214. So we wanna make sure you understand what we are asking of your child. There is a network facility and internet safety policy. If you go ahead and click on that link, it will take you directly to our website where you can read more about that information. Going back into registration, we'll ask you to confirm that you understand and have talked with your child about the internet safety policy. You can go ahead and agree to that. The next element is the Tylenol consent form. This is giving us legal permission to be able to have one of our healthcare professionals administer Tylenol if it's needed during school hours in summer school. So you can either agree to it or not agree to it. The next element is the medical conditions information. The medical conditions information might include something like a diabetic or an asthma, um, different pieces of the medical conditions that might be identified in our student information system, Infinite Campus. The nurses and healthcare professionals do go ahead and make sure that this information is accurate. If there was something here, it would be showing. And if there's something you need to add, you can simply click on the box. The box will open up for you to type and this will go to the nurse to review. The next element is the free and reduced information. This is basically an opportunity for you to review whether or not you'll need a fee waiver. And if you do what you need to do to apply to get that fee waiver, you will need to have access and create your parent portal account and there's information there. If you have a fee waiver on file, I'm going to pop up another screen here. If you have a fee waiver on file, this is the message that you will receive. Our records indicate that the name of your child is eligible for waived or reduced school meals. And please keep in mind that if you are on a fee waiver, your summer school fees will be waived at the end of registration. Okay. So once all that information is reviewed, you can go ahead and proceed to registration. Please note that we do have a couple of different options to filter what you're looking at. You can go ahead and filter by the session that's offered, session one or session two or a summer long course. You can also go ahead and filter by department. If you know the name of the course or the number of the course, if you're looking for something that's online, again, this filter is something you can use to your advantage to minimize what you're seeing on the screen. <coughs> Pardon me. So here you're going to first in this beginning section, 
see any courses that have been recommended for you. This is where courses that are invitation only will be noted. You might see a transition course like Bridge to High School here. You might see a course called ESY, Extended School Year. You will also see driver's education in this area under recommended courses once you've completed the pre-registration process. This is where you'll come to pay for driver's education. You'll also see some other courses that might be listed for recommended courses for your child, potentially if they failed a course in semester one of this school year. This is just an opportunity for you to see that the child ha maybe has failed it and it would be recommended to take in summer school. You don't have to select these courses. You can go on to look at the main academic course list. Please recognize that the main academic course list has several different pieces to it. We have a course name, course term, the course fee, the course location, whether or not we'll be running a bus to get you from and to that course location, a course setting, and then whether or not it's in a wait list, okay? Keep in mind, I'm in a demo site, so this says it's on a wait list already, but we have not truly opened the site yet, okay? So we can go ahead and make a selection at any point in time for a course that's needed. I'm going to go ahead and look at my biology, which is recommended. I'm going to make the selection. Once I do that, I'm going to be presented with a description, the fee cost, whether or not there's a bus, and then the location. Our primary summer school location this summer is John Hersey High School. I can go ahead and add to my cart. Once I add the course to my cart, it'll show up here at the top. I'm not going to register for driver's ed. Um, that's not something I can handle in my summer schedule right now. And let's see, I have a session one course. So let me pick up a session two course as well. Let's see, maybe something else that my child might enjoy. Um, let's go ahead and um, <clears throat> Maybe I know this semester he didn't do very well in human geography. So I can go ahead and select that one as well. Once the courses are added, you can again see them in your cart. You can proceed all the way to the bottom of the page and check out. You'll see here the two courses that have been selected. It'll give you an opportunity to select whether or not you need a bus. I do need a bus. Since I haven't taken driver's ed, I'm not driving yet. So then I can go ahead and proceed to check out. Okay, once I get to the top um, and I can see the review here, it'll have my student information, my, my student ID, my last name, first name, and my grade level. <clears throat> My fees are going to be $187.50 per course. You'll notice here that the registration fee is $0. Please know that we are doing an early bird special. That early bird special will be registration fee will be waived. That's $20. And that early bird special is going to run from March 1st until April 15th. So be sure and get your registration done so you can take advantage of that early bird special. There's going to be a $42 charge for the bus. And I can go ahead and enter my email. This email is going to provide me with a receipt. And that receipt is often very helpful. I can put it on the refrigerator. It will remind me of what I have signed up my child for and maybe even um, remind me emails have to match. Um, I have an extra space in there. Just start over. Okay. All right, there we go. It's much happier with that. My card holder name. 
Through the parent portal, you can use a credit card, Discover, MasterCard, or Visa. Please keep in mind if you plan to use check or money order or cash, you'll need to go into the school to register your child and use the uh, kiosk there at school. And my card number, expiration date, and then my billing address. The CVV is that little number on the back. Okay, once I've got this done, I can go ahead and review it quickly before I hit process. And I want to submit my registration. It's important not to hit the back button, not to interrupt it, let it finish. Sometimes it does take a little bit of time. Again, we're in a test site, so it might take a little longer than, than usual. And obviously, the more traffic we have on the site, that might also impact the processing time. Once I am done, I will have a receipt here. I can print this receipt on the screen directly, or I can go to my email and I will see a registration come from directly to my email registration receipt. Okay. And that is the process on how to register for summer school. I can go ahead and log out and that information will remain in the system. Now, it's also important to remember that we understand that plans change. If I all of a sudden have a fabulous offer to go to grandma's house for the summer, and I am only going to be able to take one course and not two courses like my mom signed me up. I saw it on the refrigerator. I can log back into the system as a parent who paid by a credit card and cancel and refund my course just by going back to the site. So you saw that I logged in. I have two courses, session one and session two both of which have a bus associated with them. And my child is going to go to grandma's and will no longer be able to take the human geography course. So I'm going to cancel that course. And it is processing. Once that's processed, you can see that that $187.50 is here with a $42 for the bus, total amount of the refund, $229.50. Same option goes here for a email receipt if I'd like to receive that. If I'm not interested in an email receipt, then I don't need to put my email in. But why not? It just shows and, and gives me a nice confirmation that I've done everything to process the refund. Then I'm going to go ahead and say, please put that back on my credit card. Again, the amount of $229.50. Then I can go ahead and hit submit. And that refund is now getting processed directly to my credit card. No reason for me to call staff. No reason for me to call the school. I can do that on my own in the portal. All right. If something were to change, again, I have another opportunity. I can go back in. And I can always add more courses or refunds, whatever I need to do at that point. I hope this video has been helpful. We are looking forward to summer school this year. We're looking forward to a positive experience in summer school registration. And I do thank you for your time. Have a good evening.